Hello and welcome to Eva's House of Spirit. I'm Eva and I'm here to do a bit of an update video. I'm sorry that I haven't posted anything really new for a couple of days. Things have been a little hectic and sort of crazy lately. Even, um, even things in nature seem a little wonky. It's, I don't know. Um, like my wild white rose, for example. It has buds and blooms on it despite the colder weather. It's really odd. Um, our, our nights fall to like 40 degrees Fahrenheit and yet this thing is like blooming like it thinks it's the spring or something. It's so weird. Um, and, and in another sense, I know that um, the equinox has come and gone for a while now. It's It's been gone. But for some reason, only about a night or two ago, I started really feeling the season. And that's not bad in itself. I don't mind the fall and I don't mind this season, but I'm, I'm a little not feeling the next turning of the wheel. The fall I can deal with, the winter I'm just kind of like, oh god, I just, I don't know. The winter is, is hard, and I'm really not looking forward to it. I don't hate it in itself, but damn, I hate the cold, and I hate how hard things can get. So there's that. Um, you'll notice that my bed is different now. Recently, I had a major overhaul here at home, just moving things and reorganizing, just major overhaul, because we did get another bed. We needed one very badly. Our old bed was ridiculous. You could just not get a decent night's sleep on it. It was too old. We had to get another one. Luckily, we got this nice bed on sale, you know, so. Um, there was that, and I mean, between work and my other obligations and trying to get everything ready in order to get this bed in here. I wasn't getting sleep for a, a while. So there was that and we had to help some family members with some things. Um, and I'm also preparing for a pretty serious get together with a friend, an old friend. And so that's another thing on my plate. And I have some, some tarot readings that I'm working on. They're in progress. And I always read carefully and I write out my readings by hand. So it, it does take a lot of work. And no, I'm not complaining in the sense that I don't like to read for people. I do like to read for people. I'm just expressing that this is yet another thing that um, does occupy my uh, time and attention right now. And as a, a new co-host on Witches of the Moon, um, I found that uh, that's another thing that's kind of been on my plate. Again, not complaining. I'm, I love being part of Witches of the Moon. It's great. Um, this past Sunday, I did a video. Um, I'll link it in the, in the description. I did a video about blood magic. That was the week's topic and Sunday would end the week. The way that Witches in the Moon sets it up, Mondays the topics begin and it goes through the week and everybody addresses, you know, whatever the topic happens to be. And then on Sunday, that's the last day of the week or that's the last day of a topic week for Witches of the Moon. And, you know, the host that I work with and I, you know, Natalie and I, we did our videos and you know, sometimes I'll go in and just peek and see if there's any comments or anything so I can address them. And it was really weird. Like, I went in there a few hours ago and I saw I had, like, something like two dislikes. And, I mean, not that I'm worried about dislikes, but I'm like, 
I think I'm, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I think I'm one of the most open-minded people that there pretty much are out there. So I was just kind of like, really? I got dislikes? Like, not that I care. It's not going to make or break me. But that just like, it was weird. It blew my mind a little. I was like, what could I have possibly said um, that, you know, made someone dislike me? I don't know. Or dislike my video. But I, I suspect it might have been um, my reference when I said that um, I don't partake of animal sacrifice. And I don't look at others that might be part of a path that do, you know, I don't look at them in judgment, you know, it's between them and their higher powers and their own um, morals and ethics and whatever. Maybe someone took that and was like, oh, you don't think that's wrong for someone to do that. But you know what? The fact is there are some paths that do practice animal sacrifice. You know, there, there are paths like Santeria, you know, but it's not like you just go and pick out a chicken and go kill it. You know, you have to be initiated. And most times they will eat the animal that they sacrifice. The only time that they don't is on the occasion, and it's not like they do this every day, but on the occasion that an animal happens to be used in a cleansing, they won't eat it because obviously the animal has absorbed negativity. But um, I, I, I've heard also, even in, in paths like voodoo sometimes they will sacrifice animals you know but again the animals are usually eaten and you have to be initiated and the animals are killed swiftly they're not like tortured to death you know so that's what I was referring to for for those people that might be like oh well what was that statement about that you're not judging other people you know what we get we my point is like we, we really can't look at people in paths like that with like our, our whole Western, you know, view and, and judge them, you, you can't. We, we have a different um, empirical experience, a different cultural experience, and we really need to step outside of that if we're going to try and like, you know, understand that another culture may do something another way. But whatever, I'm going off on a tangent. I'm just, I'm just saying like, I suspect that's probably why I got dislikes, but... It really doesn't matter. I'm not going to like, oh, woe is me. I can't post ever again. Like, I'm not I'm not going to go there. You know, it, it is what it is. I just thought it was a little weird because I've never had dislikes before. But I guess, hey, I'm probably going to start getting them eventually. So these were my first um, two dislikes. I just didn't understand them. But whatevs. Um, I haven't had a lot of time to devote to Eva's House of Spirit on Facebook. I have popped in there as much as I have been able to, um, to comment or to, you know, like certain things or to post a little bit here and there. But I haven't really had time lately to really contribute at length. Um, and I want to change that. It's just, it's it's been a little rough lately. I think it seems, I don't know if there's like something celestially going on. I was having a conversation earlier with someone and I was saying like, you know, it's like there must be something going on with the heavens because it seems like things are just hectic. I don't know. Things are a little wonky lately. Um, one thing that I do sometimes that helps me to relax when, when I start feeling myself getting like this is, you know, I, I, I found this thing on, on YouTube here, this, this, um, community that they, um, they practice, how can I explain it? They practice something called ASMR and I forget what that stands for. Um, I'm going to look it up and I'm going to put the what the abbreviation stands for in the description as well. Um, basically, in these videos, they, they make videos on YouTube in this community and people will watch these videos. As a part of this community, people that are looking to unwind, relax, go to sleep, cope with things like post-traumatic stress and other things. They're, the videos that, that, that people make in the ASMR community are meant to like calm you, soothe you, 
you know, and it's funny because if you don't understand what they're doing, the videos can appear to be a little bit creepy or weird, but, you know, because you get people whispering and crinkling things or like making certain sounds and the sounds, you know, there's sounds that tend to, for some reason, um, evoke a more relaxed response and everyone will have different triggers. Um, like some people will like the crinkling. Some people on certain videos they will use, for example, flashlights and they'll like, you know, shine them in certain ways. And for some reason the light will be a trigger for some people. And, um, or sometimes, you know, they'll do the, um, the binaural videos where they have the two microphones and they'll whisper ear to ear. And if you're listening with earbuds, It'll sound like someone is in the room whispering from ear to ear or something like that. I mean, they do all sorts of things. And, you know, some are a little, some can seem a little weirder, some of these videos, than others. But I have found um, they can really help you to become drowsy and relaxed and calm and grounded. I find that the best um, approach as a listener is wear earbuds or headphones and just listen, like don't even, you know, like don't focus in on the strangeness of it, don't feel self-conscious listening to it, just listen to it and just kind of go with the flow and you'll find yourself getting drowsy and you'll probably fall asleep. Um, what else did I want to say about the ASMR community? Um, some people I think um, are more talented as um, ASM artists is the term. Some people are more talented than others in that respect. Like some people create um, more effective videos than others, but I think that comes with experience. Um, anyway, it's something that I wanted to mention because um, I find that it works for me. Some people will actually feel um, tingling sensations in their body. Sometimes I'll get this uh, I used to not really get the tingling sensation much, but sometimes if I'm watching a video that's really well done, I will feel like tingling in my scalp. It's like really weird, like in the back of my scalp, I'll get like a little bit of tingling, but usually I just get drowsy. But, you know, and I mean, some people think it's totally just creepy and strange. I've had people tell me like, oh, that, that freaks me out and this and that. And I'm like, why does it freak you out? It's just someone whispering and it's just... They're making certain sounds, you know, things like tapping their nails on things or, you know, and it's just, it's just to relax. You know, they're not hurting anybody. They're not doing anything like, you know what I mean? So I think, um, if you find yourself to be a person like myself that sometimes gets a little like overwhelmed by life or... If you find that you could use a little help getting to sleep sometimes and you don't want to be taking like drugs or you don't always, you know, feel up to, um, even sometimes it's just like you don't even have it in you to make an herbal tea or whatever, try ASMR. I'll, I'll put some links, um, maybe I'll put like three links to like three good channels in my description as well. And you can check them out. Um... I'll put three that I like that are fairly talented, I think. And you can, you know, check out their videos. And I mean, they, the ASMR, it's a really good, um, it's a really good phenomenon. Um, it helps people even with things like, I've heard of people that are, are trying to stay sober after, you know, when they're battling addiction and they listen to ASMR to help calm them. And that's another nice, you know, another nice, um, contributing effect of ASMR. But anyway, um, sorry for the deep rambling on that um, subject. This is meant to be an update video, but I wanted to just tell you, you know, like that's something I've turned to as of late a little bit, ASMR. And, you know, like last night I needed a little bit of calm and a little bit of kind of that cozy home feeling. You know, because like I said, I've been struggling with this whole this seasonal shift. And it's not that I'm not in tune with the seasons, but I know what's coming next. And I'm like, oh man, I don't know if I'm ready for this. 
I mean, even at work, like I walk in there and they already got Christmas stuff in the stock room and I'm like, oh man, I, I'm not ready for this. It gets insane. It gets insane when you work in retail. Oh my God. It's a lot, especially if you do like the kind of stuff that I do. Like it's bad enough if you're a cashier or a customer service relations, you know, rep, but I do, um, you know, I unload the trucks and like I stock the floor and they want you to get that stuff out by a certain, you know, they're like, come on, you got to stay on a certain schedule. Come on, keep it moving, get it out, get it out. And you're trying to get it out, but you're trying to get it out the right way. You're trying to make sure it's accessible, it's shoppable, it's out on the floor in flow. And you're trying to be sure that, um, you know, everything's just moving the way it should. And, you know, now I also have the added responsibility. I'm a cashier as well. So I'll be working on, you know, getting stuff out, getting stuff out, and they'll call me to the front, and there's nobody else in my department. So that can be a little much as well. But, you know, you do what you can. I'm just like, oh, man, the money can be better, you know, because in retail it's a cyclical kind of thing with pay. You do crappier in um, January, February, and as the year kind of, you know, as the months go on, you know, you slowly, the ball starts rolling and rolling and rolling. You do pretty decent coming closer to the holidays, you know, around now you start doing better. This is just the beginning of things getting better, you know, more hours being available and all. But man, you work for your money. You work for your money all the way through the Christmas season and through the, you know, the new year and all that. You you know, even from from Hall from before Halloween, from around August to just after Christmas, you work for your money. You really do. You bust it. And I'm not saying that I have it worse than other people. I'm just saying, you know, again, that's another thing on my plate. So my point being here with this update video is um, I've had a lot of stuff going on and I'm doing the best that I can. You know, I really am. I'm trying to, you know, I want to see if I can film some more videos. I'm going to try to film something, you know, tonight or tomorrow. I'm going to do the best that I can. I want to at least check in here and let you know I haven't forgot about you. I still care. You know, I it's not it's not that I'm like, oh, pff, screw them people. I got my no, that's not the way it is. I care. I just I'm trying, and you gotta bear with me. It's hard. You know, it really is hard when you just got a lot going on. And I'm not complaining. Life is good. Life is good. It's just been busy. It's been hectic. It's been a lot, you know. So I want you to know I haven't forgot. You know, I haven't forgot about you. I care about you. I want to bring you some enriching and interesting content. But I, I just, and, and I'm thankful. For those of you that, you know, you haven't been like, oh, it's been two or three days, bye. You know, like, I appreciate that you that you stick with me, you know. But I think I at least owe you this update video to let you know that, hey, I'm still here. You know, I haven't even honestly been commenting much on YouTube videos. I haven't even taken time to watch too many because, again, I've just had so much on my plate. Things have just been really, like, oh. You know how it is, you know, woman's work is never done, you know, not saying the men don't do anything, but man, sometimes, sometimes it's hard, you know, when you're a wife and, and you're trying to take care of the home, though, I mean, the spirit is in the home, but man, there is work in the home, you know, and I, I'm lucky in the sense that my, my life being kind of overwhelming as it can be, I'm lucky in the sense that I don't have children on top of it, not saying children aren't a blessing, but for me, I don't think I have it in me. I really don't. And and the, though it would be so nice to have a child, I'm just like, thank you, all holiness, that I don't have kids. Because there's days I wake up and I'm so exhausted. And it's, I mean, I start my days exhausted, let alone do I end my days exhausted sometimes. And I think that I couldn't give myself 100% to that role as mother. So I'm like... I'm kind of glad that I'm not because it doesn't suit me. Um, but anyway, again, I'm going off on a whole nother thing. Um, I just want to say thank you for your patience. Thank you for your understanding. 
I will be back as soon as possible and until our next exchange. Blessed be and ashe.